Hey everyone, so today's video was not at all planned, it was definitely not something that we saw coming, but I wanted to share with you something that happened to one of our goldfish, and that is Gracie, you can see her there, and uh, that was the fact that she lost one of her eyes. We have no idea what happened. Obviously, we can guess at it and we could say maybe it was an infection, maybe she got stuck on the filter, maybe it was something in the tank, maybe it was aggression from the other fish. But for us, none of them really tie up, but obviously something has happened because they don't just lose their eyes for no reason whatsoever. When it first happened, I absolutely freaked out because... We've never experienced anything like this. I didn't even know something like this could happen. And I don't know if you guys know, but there is a huge fish community on Instagram and we are part of that community. And so I posted a picture and I just said we were really shocked to find this had happened. We went to bed um, the night before and everything was fine. And then the next day she was missing an eye. And so we posted a picture and just as I said, we couldn't believe this had happened and we don't know how it had happened. And I was absolutely amazed how many people either wrote back or messaged me and said it was fairly common, which if it is, it's certainly not something I have heard of. But then I guess if it has never happened to you before, then I suppose it's not something that you would know about. I mean, why would you? but um, that it was fairly common and that she would be okay, there was nothing to worry about, that the wound was really clean, it had obviously been a very clean popping of the eye or the eye coming out and that part of the eye was still not attached so that was good news to me because the thought of having to maybe go in and clean it up that would have been a really big deal so in the after the first few days of this happening she did struggle somewhat she would go round and round in circles but within a day or two she just started behaving perfectly normally again I was very worried about food because goldfish tip are all very competitive when it comes to food but as you can see from this video she has no issue getting to the food and finding the food she does seem to take her lead from the others when they start to get excited if she's resting somewhere then she will come straight out and she knows that food is on its way so there's not been any issues there whatsoever one of the things we were told that was very important and that was to keep the water really really clean so the infection couldn't get in and so I did a water change that day and then we have been doing them a little more regularly than we normally do and we already do them every five to six days so I've sort of been doing them every three to four days just to make sure that no infection can set in while it actually heals and it does look like it's healing really really well. I think my biggest concern now is what if it happens again especially because we don't know how she did it the first time so we have gone sort of over the tank just checking everything nothing has changed in the tank over the last six months so really I don't see why something should suddenly injure her now that has always been in the tank there's nothing with sharp edges we have reduced the flow on the filter that we've been able to just in case for some reason she got stuck on it. She is our goldfish that does occasionally have swimming issues and so I, I guess it's maybe possible that she got trapped or stuck on the filter but I, I really don't know but we have done all that we can do and I'm just hoping that this is not going to happen to her again. This did happen about two weeks ago so she has had a good deal of time to adjust and obviously we've had time to observe her and just make sure that she is doing okay and as from the video you can see that she can hold her own when eating and also that she seems still seems very very happy. I will say obviously she's still got her other eye so she is not completely blind. I haven't really noticed her bumping into things and she really does navigate around the tank very very well. I'd be interested to hear if this is something you've ever dealt with. Leave it in the comments box below if you have and how you went about treating it and what you did to maybe prevent it again. As I said, this is something totally 
unexpected and new for us and it would be good to hear how other people dealt with it and what they did. We've done sort of everything that we know to do. I did do some research on it but I still feel really really bad because I just feel so so sorry for her but if there's anything you think that maybe we should have done differently or anything that you think we should be doing at this point please let me know in the comments box below. Okay guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.